Hello everybody, my name is Airdo67. We're gonna talk about the five classes I recommend you learning for uh, Terra when it comes out on Xbox One and PS4. Before I get right into that, I wanna thank you guys for getting me to 50 followers after my last Twitter got destroyed. Um, but I made it back in July and you guys got me to 50 followers at the end of July, which is amazing, amazing recovery. So I just wanna thank you guys. I post a lot of my content here, uh, some of my updates on my videos. I also do PSN giveaways. Uh, thumbnails. I also sell logos. So if you need a whole YouTube revamp, go follow me on Twitter at airdo 67 and I'll help you up your YouTube channel. But right now, I know you're here uh, for t the Terra classes, and I'm going to show you in not any particular order, but these are five classes I chose um, from the 13 that are easy to learn. So when you're able to do the more difficult classes, you'll be able to learn them better. So I started off with Warrior. The reason I chose Warrior because in any MMO, this is one of the most basic balanced classes in the game. Um, the armor is leather. It has also a sword, twin swords. The skill overview is not that bad either. It has simple stuff as combo attack, evasive rolls, uh, rains of blows, and then you go all the way to like level 60, I believe, one. You have like binding sword, scythe, staggering counter, those things are really simple to learn. They're not too difficult. You don't need to require a lot of thinking. Uh, this is a very evasive class, so if you're really new to MMOs, I strongly recommend using a warrior just to get a feel of all the different classes. Now, I'm not I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just recommending, based on the stats of the warrior and all the skill mechanics, this is the fairly the easiest and the most basic one. It does a fair amount of damage. It's evasive. The armor is not too heavy, too light. I personally enjoy it. It's a very fun class, and I really enjoy the Twin Swords. It's pretty cool. The next class I'm going to show you, if it loads, uh, hang on, let me reload it real quick. And as you can see, it's Gunner. The reason I chose Gunner is because I believe that this class is a very heavy DPS uh, class. You can hold guns. <laughs> the armor is very heavy. That's the one thing, though. But I fairly enjoy Gunner for the simple fact that it does a lot of DPS. The armor is very strong, so you won't die. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also, it's very balanced as well as the warrior. It's not too DPS build. It's not too ev evasive. It's not too MP draining. But I recommend Gunner if you are want to be if you want to try a new class you've never seen before in an MMO. Gunner is a good way to go to do because I believe warrior is very balanced, but it's kind of also basic. For your very um for your beginner stuff but gunner is actually a nice class as well some of the skills has like scatter shot point blank arcane barrage it, it goes the list goes on it's freaking crazy that some of these skills are ridiculous and you can also help out your teammates a, a lot better than a warrior can but gunner can also um do crazy passive damage to the enemy you can also do crazy amount of movement speed such as like gun enthusiasts, one with the gun, emergency barrier, one through two. I believe it's one through two. And stuff like that. Gunners is just crazy amount of DPS. Like I said, the only downside is just a little slow because the armor, as you see right here, is heavy armor. So just be wary of that. Keep that in mind. The next class I'm going to show you is Berserker. The reason I chose Berserker, if you're a tank guy, if you're in the, in the face, you want to learn how to tank a, a, a big ass monster, that's what they call on Terra, I would recommend learning a tank class as is Berserker. Berserker has very heavy armor, the axe is, um, he wields an axe. He has stuff like frontal assault, which is his main abilities and stuff like that. Uh, I re this class requires a lot of time because it'll probably take you a little bit more to level because it's very slow in attacking, but in the end, if, you're, if your clan or if your team needs a tank and you are already a Berserker, I would recommend doing that because you have an amazing skill. I think this is one of the best skills in the game. It's called Unbreakable. It temporarily protects you from going below 1 HP, which is very crucial when you're doing a big-ass monster fight or something like that. So if you want to learn Berserker as a beginning class, go ahead. So I'm going to go over the three classes that showed you. Warrior, which is a very basic uh, balanced class, is in between a Berserker and a Gunner. A gunner is a strictly like a DPS character that's not as hard as a ninja because I heard ninja is very difficult to learn because it's crazy high, fa uh, high fast evasive attacks and stuff like that. But gunner is not that bad. Only has heavy armor, just like the berserker, but has very good DPS. And then we're at the berserker, which is a very good tank uh, class to learn for your clan at end game. So you'll be very useful. Now the fourth class I chose is another balanced standard. 
uh, class in the MMO, which is Archer. Archer wields a bow, of course. Light armor, so it makes it very evasive. Has marksmanship, which is the, the main skill. Sabotage, you could poison stun, trap enemies, and stuff like that. Uh, the reason I chose arrow, uh, excuse me, excuse, arrow. Dude. The reason I chose Archer is because you're able to stand back from the enemy. So if you're not really into uh, into like fighting right into the enemy's face, it would take a lot of damage and you're new. So you could take the back step uh, of Archer and do a lot of damage from a distance or you can do it from mid range, which one, you have arrow back step, arrow volley, stuff like that. And also you have Thunderbolt. I think that's one of the best skills in the game as well. You can fire a lot of arrows at the, at the, de at the enemies and that knocks them back. Um, for like big ass monsters and stuff like that. So if you want to learn an archer, it's very cool because you could trap enemies. You could also help out your party by poisoning them, stun them, all that good stuff. And the last character I chose, which is pretty different. I don't know why, but people don't. I think this class is very underrated, and that is Slayer. Slayer is a, um, I think it's one of my personal favorites. It's not what a tank, but it's more of a off tank DPS in my in my opinion. The armor is leather. That's why it doesn't make it a true tank because true tanks have heavy armor. So this makes this somewhere near the warrior. So this is just a warrior with like a one-handed sword. It wears a great sword. Uh, it's very evasive for what the description says. Usually a great sword is very slow, but it has like fast strike abilities like really fast. It's ridiculous. Some of the skills is like combo attack and base roll will win. You go all the way up to like Measure Slice, which is a very crazy ability, but it takes a lot of MP. One thing about this class, though, this class does require a little bit of MP. You're re more reliant on your skills as well. You can do regular damage from no skills, just attacking the enemy, but you do a lot more if you do your skills. So you have to invest a little bit of MP. So that's my five class. So I'll give you a, a complete overview one more time. Warrior is very balanced. Uh, armor is leather, and it wields twin swords. If you want, are you if you're a beginner of the beginner, use warrior. Gunner is probably one of the harder ones to learn on this list, but it's not too hard. It's one. It is a basic character, um, but it's not it's not difficult as like the other ones. Like I said, it's ninja. Very DPS skills, big ass guns, heavy armor. So it's very it's kind of slow, but it has a lot of DPS. Berserker is your tank. You can uh, get, get in the face of the enemy. It's very heavy. The weapon is an axe. Uh, leveling this character might be a little bit slow, like I said, because it's very, very uh, heavy armor base. Archer, you take a little step back from the enemy, so you do a lot of DPS, but you're not like doing a lot, a lot of DPS per se, but you know, you won't die as much. You're very evasive. And for Slayer, it, I think is an underrated class that people should look more into as, as a basic character. You could also hold a big ass monster as well with the Berserker and stuff like that. It's a very good combination, Berserker and Slayer, in my opinion, because you have a tank and an off tank, and they're just very cool combinations. So that's my opinion. If you think differently, comment below your top five classes that you rec will recommend to the community of Terra that's coming to consoles and Xbox One, PS4. What classes would you use? This is mine, Warrior, Gunner, Berserker, Archer, and Slayer. Comment below, what do you think would benefit the community to learn characters if they're new at this game remember this is based on my research of all all the classes i didn't just pick five randomly i did all my research and i tried to make the best top five for a beginner class so anyway guys thank you for watching here to season seven as always you can subscribe if you like the video uh like i said comment below your top five that you would choose for the community and as always thank you guys for watching all every single day and yeah peace if you made it to the end, like I said at the beginning of the video, I am doing a PSN giveaway of two $10 gift cards for PSN. I already gave away one of the code. I'm sorry, so I only have one left. As you see right here, I gave I already gave one of the code left. I do have one code left. I do. I bought two twenty dollars worth. Um, so I can give it to two people. I do have one code left, and if you do want a code, make sure you follow me at Airdo67. That's the key part, guys. I need you to follow me on Twitter so you can be a part of the giveaway, so I can pick followers uh, to give the code to, or I tweet them out at random. It depends which day it is. I already gave out two codes. One was $25, and another one was $10. Um, I'm already at 50 followers. Thank you guys all so much. And I'm also... Like I said, I'm doing YouTube management. Now, this is just going to be a short thing. This is the end of the video. Now, I'm doing thumbnails for a dollar, banners for $7, logos for $4. So they're fairly cheap. In my 
my freaking thumbnails are killer and they're a dollar each they're ridiculous my banner is very cool as well my logo and stuff like that so if you're interested in trying to uh, either participate in my PSN code giveaway or into my uh, YouTube management follow me on Twitter make sure you're also subscribed to the channel like the video all that stuff and then after that I need you to DM me because I have people that DM me and stuff like that and right here so yeah that's it guys that we made it to the end of the video I gave you all the information you need thank you for watching also comment below um, what would you suggest for me to make another video on Terra, Fallout 4, anything at all? And if you made it all the way to the end right now, you are like one of my diehard fans, and I appreciate you so much. Thank you for watching so much, and as always, peace, guys.